So the title of the study is Use of Magnetic Growing Intramedullary Nails with Intercalary Allograft Reconstruction After Tumor Resection. And the background of this is basically in orthopedic oncology when we're resecting a tumor from the bone. If we're resecting it on block, we sometimes have the option of reconstructing it with donated allograft. And we can use a large bulk allograft that can either reconstruct the shaft of the bone or even the articular surface. Traditionally, the biggest problem that we have with getting these things to heal is a non-union rate of 15 to 55%, depending on the study. And the risk for non-union is increased with things like a diaphyseal location, age over 18, if they get adjuvant chemotherapy, um, and with use of intramedullary nails. And the reason why the rate is higher with intramedullary nails is we're not able to get compression across those osteotomy sites. And so the healing is typically by creeping substitution, and we really need solid compression across those sites. If you use an intramedullary nail, you're basically manually compressing the bone together, whereas compression plating allows you to use the plate and the screws to compress the bone together. So with this newer technology that we've basically pioneered for this use here, um, these are growing intramedullary nails. So they're telescoping nails that can either expand or contract. Um, it's used by a magnet where there's a magnet that runs a motor inside the nail and the nail can either get longer or get shorter. So when this nail first came out, it was mostly used for limb lengthening. So people who had one leg shorter than the other um, would use this nail in order to get equal leg length. 